pine trees in the Nevada desert on the center strip. I wonder what hotel we could be talking about today. <laughs> G'day mates, Bob Dingo here. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most iconic hotels on the center strip. Built in 1998, it was one of Steve Wynn's original hotels after the Mirage, but when he was really starting to get into the groove of his style. If you go inside this hotel, you'll see some design elements that are quite similar to the Wynn in the Encore. Uh, this hotel has the biggest fountains in Las Vegas, but we're not going to show you those too much because, let's be honest, you've seen it a million times. In fact, you've probably been in this hotel a million times because it'll draw a bloody crowd. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Bellagio, mate. Now, when you're staying at Bellagio, at least once, be sure to go out the front door and take the little path down the, the fountain to the strip. This has to be one of the most charming walks in the whole hotel. You're looking over the water. You got these nice manicured olive trees and little cone bushes on this side. Get a great view of the strip. Ah, it's bloody nice, mate. What a charming. So charming, mate. The main entrance to Bellagio, very cool. It has a bit of a old world European charm. It actually reminds me a bit like uh, Paris, Las Vegas next door. You got kind of the green metal, the green metal work, huge lights. I guess I'm going to say charm is probably the defining characteristic of Bellagio. It has a lot of charm for a hotel this big. And some Chinese lions because they have those in Italy all over the place, right mate? Ah, <laughs> no way. Triple revolving doors for Bellagio. There's been a tendency recently to get rid of the revolving doors. I think these people don't know how to use them. I'm glad Bellagio kept them going. Because they are bloody nice, mates. And now when you come through the front door, the charm for Bellagio is going to be stepped up a couple of notches. Because you're going to find the signature glass ceiling. So pretty. And they always have someone playing at the piano bar right over there. Give you a nice ambiance when you walk through the door. The check-in at Bellagio is so charming that even after waiting in line for a few hours to get to your room, 
you may not even be that mad. Looking at the trees, the butterflies, the columns, the light coming through. Bloody hell, mate. That's Bellagio. Now, right past the check-in area, over the polished, oh-so-charming mosaic tile floors, you're going to find one of Bellagio's signature areas, the conservatory, or the greenhouse, as it were, where they put on flower displays. One for each season, changed, and then one for Chinese New Year's. So depending on when you're here at Bellagio, there could be any one of five displays at the conservatory. I think I've seen all of them. They're all really charming. And did I mention this was completely, completely free? Yeah, mate. Right past the uh, Bellagio greenhouse over there, you're gonna find the signature sweet shop. The stuff here is bloody good, but the thing that really turns the charm up on this place is the chocolate fountain. And they assure me that this chocolate is in fact real. I wonder, I wonder. Oh my God, it smells good too. You can smell the, uh, the sugar caramelizing. Signature sweet shop, good stuff. You're gonna like it, mate. Now there may not be any monorail interconnects on this side of the strip, but Bellagio makes up for it with one super cool feature, and that is a free tram that'll take you from here to the Crystal Shops to Park MGM. And it runs every 10 minutes or so. So it is cool, you can get a jump right from Bellagio, go do a little shopping, go over to Park MGM, all on the free tram. Now, I'm not going to talk to you too much about the Bellagio Casino because more than likely you've already been in here at least once. It's Center Strip, always busy. I'm sure you've been through. But needless to say, it's very nice. Good smell, no smoke. And joy, bloody gigantic, mate. The casino just goes on and on. But you've already been here. You didn't get to hear that from old Dingo, mate. <laughs> bloody hell. As you would imagine, for a center strip, premium Las Vegas hotel, Bellagio has no shortage of premium, <laughs> premium shopping to be done. Louis Vuitton, Coco Chanel, Tiffany, Gucci, Bulgari, they got it all right here. But one thing Bellagio does best is I think this is one of the nicest shopping mall areas I've ever seen. It's very rare in Vegas that you see so much daylight coming through. And they do this like European style, glass roof metal train station type feel here at Bellagio, lets all the light in. It really is very pleasant to walk through. You just walk back and forth all day long on your way to Gucci and Tiffany. That's not bloody dingo style, mate. Unless it's a bogo. And in the Bellagio shopping area, right between Gucci, Dior, and Tiffany, you'll find Spargo, Wolfgang Park's signature restaurant, of course. Good food in there, but you're not gonna find a Bogo, like the Bar and Grill, or Lupo. Not at Spargo, mates. Maybe a Gucky. Should I ask them if they have a Bogo going on right now? What do you reckon, mate? Okay, so here we are inside the hallway of the Bellagio, the standard tower. They only have two towers, this one and the spa tower. And uh, the decor is kind of uh, inoffensive, I'd say. Kind of got beige patterning there. Kind of standard lights, nothing that would uh, 
offend the senses too much, but let's take a look at a remodeled double queen room at Bellagio. Here we are, mates. There's mum. How you doing, mum? What do you think of the room? Well, I am not impressed with the Bellagio. <laughs> Bellagio! I'm actually rather disappointed. <laughs> well, we kind of expected it to be a little uh, bigger, I think. Well, I just expected it to be a little more bellagio -y. Like, the outside is very, you know, Italian, Italian. and uh, ornate. And the inside room just looks like a, like a Hilton. Not even a Hilton. Yeah, like I mean, it's... Hilton's got more wood in it. Uh, usually. It's uh, like a Hyatt, I'd say. Yeah. A little Hyatt. I'm, I'm like really disappointed. <laughs> and the room is also not, it's not huge. It's not uh, like when we went into um, Caesars. Like Caesars Palace, my first thought was like, oh, this is a huge room. Like it, it's I almost unnecessarily the, big. The Bally's room are big too. The Bally's rooms are big, yeah. I mean, I'd say this is like maybe the size of the, or even, I think this is even smaller than the Planet Hollywood. The Planet Hollywood is bigger, is bigger than yeah. this, so I can say. But one thing they do have here is they have glasses. Yeah, those are the premium things you no got. No paper here. No paper. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what we got in the room. So you got your big telly, and then we got this thing, this console here, which looks like... Uh, actually, this is very stylish, Mom, I think. <laughs> Don't ask, they want you to... Yeah, by the way, these are all these are all weighted, so keep your fingers off of those. You don't want but, to touch those. Yeah, Otherwise, you, you're, when you go to check out your bill... If you have relatives with you, you tell them that if they touch that stuff, they're going down the guillotine I mean, if a little you, Even if you take it out and put it back, they'll charge you for you're it. You're still in. And there and is a little fridge. sadly... There is a little fridge. But it's jam-packed full of stuff. However, it's not for your use. You want a little booze? You want a little any of that stuff? You know, $20 Coke? That's what's in there. Not for your use, though, no. Once again, you can't touch that either. You, you can't touch this. Yo, I told you, you can't touch this. Wow. It's not bad, but... And then on top of it, they didn't even give us a a, a, a fountain view. No fountain view. I mean, we, we get a fountain view every time we say it Bally's or Paris. Yeah. Or or Planet Hollywood, we've always gotten the fountain view of the Bellagio. Yeah. And, we're and the here we are at the Bellagio. And we're the same status with uh, MGM as we are with Caesars. Yeah. So Caesars always gives us the strip view. I have to say that. MGM didn't give it to us. So Caesars Diamond, they do seem to always give you really good rooms. As yeah. opposed to MGM Gold, which is the same level. True. Anyway. Okay, let's take a look at the beds here. We got these nice beds. Uh, let's give it a test. What the hell? Here we go. Oh, yeah, mate. Okay, those are good. They're nice and soft. I must say, I think, Mum, all the uh, all the Vegas hotels, they figured out their mattresses, I think. There's no doubt. Mattresses used to be crap back in the day. And uh, I think they all got together. They, f they finally figured that one out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's that one they had. Yeah. It's yeah. very soft. And then a lot of them have, like, the pillows are different densities, which is kind of... Uh, I don't know if they do that here. This one feels a little... And then uh, here we go on the side. Let's see, bedside table. This is, uh, I'd say this is pretty stylish. We have an iPod thing for the iPods they don't make anymore. There you go. I think all the casinos do that actually. Um, and then this is super cool. Power drapes. We only saw one, one, we only saw power drapes in one other place, mom. Flamingo. Flamingo, you remember, there it is. Got some nice USB plugs on the side there. They, they need plugs everywhere in modern hotels, I gotta say. N n plugs are never enough. And then there's more over to here. And I there's mo more plugs on this side. And then this is kind of weird. They put this table like in the... So where you can't use it? In the corner there. We got one, one base thing to sit on. But not one here. Not one on the other side. That's so weird. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. They're probably gonna add. They're gonna add that to the room. They're gonna say we stole one of theirs, and they're gonna add it to the room charge there, Mom. And this is kind of fun. The closet here looks like. Uh, this is the first closet I've seen that looks like a regular, like in your house. You know, it's not like a hotel closet. I thought that was kind of fun. And then here's the bathroom. Let's take a look. All right. So the bathroom, very nice. Gotta say, not huge though. 
I think the um, the bathroom at Planet Hollywood was bigger. I think the Caesars one was bigger. I think this one's bigger than the rest, though. The rest of the vids we've done. But very nicely appointed, I've got to say. Uh, look at these. Faucet's nice. Got your chrome going on there. Got these pretty boss round mirrors there. And the shower is unnecessarily large. I know that's popular these days. <laughs> the shower can never be big enough. Double width. I'd imagine there was probably a tub and a shower when they first built this, but they got rid of the tub because no one uses those. Let's see what we got. Lana Vera, nourish and protect. Infused with aloe vera and lanolin. Bloody hell, mate. That's fru fru. So there we go. Got the huge shower with no door on the end. So you go down to the end. Bathroom, pretty boss, I gotta say. Nice entryway. With some cool tile. That mirror is a little basic, gotta say. But um, there you go. They do have a ventilated air though, so that's a good thing. There's a little vent, although I couldn't get it open. I think it's kind of painted shut them up. So there you go. That is a Bellagio standard double queen room. Now the Bellagio pool complex is quite large. There's no less than eight pools and hot tubs in this place. So it's comparable to Caesars. But unlike Caesars, here you can actually find warm pools, cool pools, medium temperature pools, just like the three bears, you know, whether you, whether you like your porridge hot, cold, or just right. You're gonna find it right here at Bellagio. I think we call it the buffet of pools. Let's go check it out, mate. It's quite elegant too. In case you forget, this is Las Vegas. It is gonna be hot. But they have misters going out here too. It's quite nice. There's a little cafe over there. You can stay cool, get something to eat. The little cafe in the middle of the Bellagio pool area. Honestly, could not be more charming. They keep the misters going, fans on. And the price is actually not too bad. Breakfast at $14. I mean, for Las Vegas, that's pretty good. Now, one of the fountain pools here at Bellagio is called the Cypress, exclusively for the rental of these little day beds. Now, usually that would be kind of a nickel and diming Las Vegas thing, but in this case, these are actually not too expensive. They're $60 on the weekday and $120 on the weekend. It doesn't come with any booze, but that's actually not a bad deal to get your exclusive cabana experience. And you would think with all the evaporative properties of the fountain pools, they'd be cold. The Bellagio, they're cranking up the heat on these. You can actually get in, enjoy the fountain, and I'll freeze your ass off, mate. The Bellagio pool area has no shortage of trees and shrubs and kind of uh, wandering walkways. It definitely has a very Italian feel to it. And not very Las Vegas, I gotta say, with all the trees. It's really nice, though. You're gonna like it. right here the closest one to the door is actually the biggest pool although in typical Las Vegas style none of the pools in this entire area are more than three and a half foot deep not even this giant one right here Bellagio was built in 98 and I guess they still got some of those 2000 sensibilities to the pools no deep ends to be found anywhere mate I'm still walking we haven't gotten to the end of this pool <laughs> we keep going we keep going we're almost there. Past the plants. And there it is. The far end of the extra large. 
collage rule. And then one of the neat things with the Bellagio pool is it's actually really close to the rooms. Despite the building being so large, it actually worked that out. So you come right down from your room, right out to the pool. You don't have to walk very far. And they have two little snack places, Gelato and Paleo Cafe, that are on the way to the pool. So you can grab a snack without going into the casino and dealing with the madness of all that. All right, mates, we've come to the end of the vid, I know. You think it might be clickbait? How can you possibly get Bellagio for only $50 a night, all in? But bingo never does clickbait, I always deliver, okay? Here's how you do it. You fire up your My Vegas Slots app, just like you do when you get those great Buffy deals. You keep this thing rolling all day long until those chips accumulate, and you can get a cop at the Bellagio. Now, there is one caveat, which is regularly there's only one night comps available for Bellagio um, and you have to wait for promos for two night comps. One night is kind of not enough for all this Bellagio luxury. So you've got to wait for those promos to come up and then you can grab a two night comp and you only pay the resort fees which end up being 50 bloody dollars a night, which is ridiculous. <laughs> 45 plus tax, 50 dollars a night. Um, but that's all you pay for all this Bellagio luxury. You can also buy your way into two night comps on the My Vegas Slots app, uh, but that number is not fixed. You have to check the forums to see what it is at any given point. They don't advertise how much you have to spend to unlock the two and three night comps, but I know it is possible. I think it's between two and three hundred dollars. Once again, not fixed. But on any day of the week, My Vegas Slots Dingo style comp at Bellagio, and then every once in a while, two night comps, even for the low rollers, mate. And that's how you do it.